This is the show for the stoners, for the cool cats, for the misfits. Welcome back to Doug Talks, everybody. Ah, ah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest podcast of all time. I am your host, Dougie McDoubles, and beside me is one of my best friends, longtime best friend. Let me tell you, we started from the bottom in church camp, and now we're here. I have the legend, the man, the myth, the legend himself, Grant Jemima. Nice to meet you. How's everybody doing? Dude. I'm excited to be here. What's up, buddy? How you been? Oh, man, I'm doing very, very well. It's it's good to see you, man. You just got a tattoo today. I did. I yeah. got it at 1 o'clock. It hurt. Very yeah. Bad. yeah, yeah. I can. Imagine. I went ahead and uh, for anybody who wants to see, my wife and I had a miscarriage back in 2021. So in remembrance, uh, I got a tattoo of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got matching tattoos actually. Um, it kind of looks like a little bleeding, a little bit. It's all right. A little air bubbles in there, but it's fine. Oh yeah, it'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I wanted to. I wanted to fill the gap in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I went ahead and tried to get the most painful stuff out the way first. Under- understandable. The stitch, the stitch hurt very bad. Yeah, I never would have thought you start, you would get more tattoos. Like I, I know, I, I know, didn't either. It's crazy. Here's the thing. So like, if in Fantasy Factory, Rob Deerdeck would go and just pay for shit for for his friends and shit like that because he was that famous. I, yeah. I, the only way you got tattoos genuinely is if you went on tour with me and I was like, I might get a t- tattoo. You want one? And then as I gradually got some, you were just like, Yeah, I'll get another one. Yeah. Genuinely, that's I thought I was gonna pay for both of your sleeves. <laughs> I won't even fucking lie to you. Uh, you're on you can my, pay for my other one. Yeah, you're on my notes <laughs> of someone that I'm like, damn, really, he's really about to look just like me. Like we were about to do everything together when I get when, when I make to it. Get a Marvel DC. Arm to wrist. Okay. That would be sick. And one of my big characters will be Flash. He'll be one of my big ones. Mm. Because I really like the Flash. I also want to add Rocket in there. Okay. Somewhere too. Okay, real quick. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know, now you know this is the greatest podcast of all time. This is Doug Talks. The greatest. I I have Grant Jemima with me. He has been one of my outstanding long time friends since, uh, let's see, were you in the seventh grade? At church camp? Or what? How old were you? Were you 8th or ninth? 9th or 10th. Okay. Oh, yeah, you got there my last two years. Yeah, that was 10th. Yeah, so you were a sophomore. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's where I experienced so, everything so new like for the first time. So, like, 2014. 2014. 2013. It depends. Through the summer. The summer that, technically the is The summer like, of 2013, I'm assuming going into 14, I yeah. think. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... Or for because you're a year behind me. Yeah. Um, yeah. You and I have been friends over a decade, almost a decade. Yeah. No. Let me see. It'll be. No, a, it's been a decade this, yeah, this it, summer. This summer, dude. This summer. Yeah, that's Whoa. what I'm fucking talking about, <laughs> dude. Celebrate, gang, gang. It's ten years, baby. For my birthday too. Oh, that's fucking sick. I. Um, when's your birthday again? The sixteenth. Oh, thank God, dude. Whoo. Of uh, July. Yeah, I uh, July 26th. I have a new song coming out, and I can't wait to show it to you later, dude. Um, it's called Roll With Me, and it is a fucking slap. I was slapper. looking on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah the, there it is. Yeah. Um, oh, August 2nd. I ain't saying it, but just know there's some heat. I swear. All kinds of new songs. Uh, so you essentially have been a part of the podcast in the I background mean, since... Day, the first, since day one. Yeah. Since I, the beginning. Yeah, literally. Since Corey and I were doing it in his son's room in the trailer. Since and, when we tried to um, make our own vlogs. Fuck, dude. When Man, I, that was, I was awesome. Li- when I was living in the hotel. Yes, literally. I remember the, the second Going I... Going to Wayne's house before he got shipped off. The, the second I got arrested, or like the second I got out of jail, I went straight to your house and you and I smoked so much fucking weed. I was... Dude, that's all I wanted to do. I was like, I just want to hang out with my dog and play Fortnite. I'm, back when we both had computers. Actually, the computer that I used to play on is this black one underneath the Mac. Oh, this... Yeah, the yeah. OG. Yeah. Yeah, we used to just... Sit on one desk by him. His other buddy Caleb would sit there, and he'd sit right there. And all three was play on our on our laptops and play Fortnite. Fortnite, World of Warcraft, dude. Wizard one on one. You have been here essentially for the long run, my friend. And I just I want to say thank you very very much for being here. Just oh, I really appreciate it. it I'm, it's I'm, a testament. I love the journey, dude. Yeah, you you have. If y'all don't know, only the OGs get assigned this table, and my name's been on it. Goddamn right. You are in this category of friends when it comes to 
Ray, kind of John, um, Silva, it's you have turned your life around and you're not a piece of shit. And I'm not saying that you were prior to where you are currently, but you and I could have turned out so much worse in our so lives. So much worse. We could have been. You and we I could mo- be in jail. You and I, yeah. You and I could be strung the fuck out. Yeah. Like I, like I have the. I'm very proud of us for where we are. Um, and I don't know if people tell you enough, but just because I know where you and I, I know where how you grew up. I know you know how I grew up. I've seen your old house. You've seen my old crib. We know it was shitty. So I, I just want to let you know, as a man, I see you as a husband and a, and a stepfather and a real father. I am truly so fucking proud of you, big I dog. I appreciate that. Um, I gave John his props last episode, and I had to let him know, like, the DC Saturday morning cartoons, my fandom for that wouldn't have started without John. Like, I am, this season is about giving people the props they deserve and letting them know that, like, I see you, dog. I appreciate you for real. Um, you, you've been my best friend for damn near a decade, man. Yeah. We have played dozens of basketball games we tried to vlog and we've spent dozens of hours tripping balls and we watching it last night I, I mean i was working all night uh, i was on my way back from work from hot springs yeah got a new job surprise can we talk uh we will i'll cut the cut this no it's fine i can talk about it you're smoking on the pod and shit no it's fine i'm okay. talking about it what i saw do? roofs oh you, oh you do roofing now yeah that's what's up man you need a roof you do hell damage you call me, we'll make the insurance pay for it. I'll put Grant's number in the description below of what he needs for that work for that job. Arkansas, Oklahoma, Texas, Florida, Oklahoma, twice. Oklahoma <laughs> twice. That's how fuck. That's how much you need it because of tornado season. Tornado season's coming. Baby. Swear. Okay, buddy. So essentially, I have you here just to shoot the shit, tell some stories, and I want to ask you some questions that I can't ask Ray on the podcast because Ray is too family friendly <laughs> I uh, compared to these questions does that make sense yeah okay i mean i'll answer them honestly yeah i mean you and i have gone together through a lot of shit um broke homeless a lot of fucking shit grant and i um i was in southern texas once with (laughs) visiting my family and that is about 12 hours all right from where grant was at where i I was at at where he was at from here it's like 14 it's another Three hours. Yeah, give or take. To get to where I was at. Grant, had, well, okay, so what <laughs> What kind of car did you have? I had, what was it? it the was green? A, it was the green hatchback. Is that what it's hatchback. called? Hatchback. Okay. It was some kind of Hyundai. Yeah. And Hyundai Accent. Yeah. And hatchback. You, I called Manual. You, I called you at 10 a.m. that morning. I was smoking with my cousin. All right. I remember it vividly. All right. I'm smoking with Dustin outside, me, him, and Nikki. And I remember. T- I think I'm FaceTiming you, telling you to come down, bro, blah, 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 blah. And he's... I'm in... He's in Texarkana. And Texarkana, He's, he's yeah. hesitant of it all. He's like, yeah, oh, I'm like, man, it. bro, this and is I, a far drive. And I I say one thing, he's like, all right, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'm on my way. I look at it, I call him, and I go, hey, man, man the ounces down here are like 25 bucks. No, that was the second thing. Oh, okay. The first thing, you said, hey, bro, I don't think I'm coming back. I don't have a ride. I said, no, 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 no. Okay. I said... That's right. I'm on my way. I'm coming to get you. I don't give a shit. I'm driving these 12 hours. When I get there, bro, you just let them know. I'm going to be there a couple days. We're going to have a great time. And we're heading back. That's how it went. It was so much fun. It genuinely was. We went all over the place. We played ball. Like We genuinely had a good time. And we went and we drove all the way back. (laughs) All the way back. We met some random people and bought some Bud. Pissed on some school football field. Got that right. Fuck Haleyville, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, we went to South. We went to Corpus Christi. And we, oh fuck, I forgot we made the detour to go to the beach. Yeah, because I looked at him and I was like, oh, "Yo, dude, I have right, enough I money mean, for a hotel if you want to get the gas on the way back." And he was like, "All right, fuck it, dude." So we went and we got a hotel. We stayed an extra day. <laughs> yeah, we stayed that night. Went down to the beach. We met. Fucking someone. got a hotel on the right on the beach. Two hundred and eleven steps. We counted because we were that fucking stoned. But I remember on the balcony because we couldn't smoke in the hotel room. Um, we couldn't even find any at first, man. We went to the Water Burger dude, in the drive through. Damn right. And I went to that same Water Burger a couple of years after with Allison, and I met I met someone that I had known previous, but I went to the same one. She, I was like, "Yeah, me and Grant one time, uh, we were here. That the hotel closed. No, it reopened. It re it's, oh, it's okay, no longer okay. nights in. It's a whole different no. one. They added another building next to it now. Nights in was fire, dude. It really <laughs> was. It genuinely was great. Water hit it. 
like oh like, i could imagine yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh and so dude you you and i had the best time we went swimming a little bit in the beach but we mainly just chilled at the fucking pool yeah we just wanted the sunrise that's all yeah we wanted. that's the sunrise view genuinely that's all we wanted we listened to roy ayers uh here comes the sunshine or everybody loves the sunshine we lit a blunt it was fucking beautiful. We had people below us, and when we lit a blunt outside, it was like maybe midnight, and someone said, damn, I can smell that That's shit. That's good. Uh-huh. Um, just good times, man. You and I have always had good situations together, great memories, and insane stories. Grant has dunked, has crossed somebody up and yammed it on someone before i mean that that was a that was a special day yeah so um, we were we were uh, under the influence okay and so we went to go play basketball at the at the basketball court at the, at the apartment at the apartment that i lived at and Man. grant had the ball he took he stole the ball from someone top of the key and they then, said come get it i said okay <laughs> and stole it and then they, i won't mention who because i that's my dog that's that's our dog yeah you know though he crossed him up because he tried to get the ball back. Grant crossed him, came down, and yammed that shit. I was so fucked up. I, Dude, I was looked like, at nah, us and he said, I'm going home. I'm fucking dreaming. This shit ain't real. I'm going home. And he fucking left. We stayed out for like another hour, yep. hour and a half. Dugan, no. He went home. He didn't believe none of it was real. Nope. I'm talking about, that's the first time I've even ever thought about dunking. Man, I fucking slammed that ball so hard. That was, it was crazy. Like, I look, I look like Paul George out there. Like, oh my goodness, it was nuts. And the person I did it on had basketball experience their entire life. Had incredible, incredible, IQ. Ex- like De'Aaron Fox experience. You know what I mean? Like, there was no reason I should have went out there and did this to them. Yeah, it was. But a, the acid, the acid, it was, acid it, did something else. It was a <laughs> gift from the Lord. God gave me a gift for twelve for about. Two hours. Yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, man. So I want to I want to ask you a couple of questions that you and I don't really get to talk about or ask. I. Um, so you are married. You are happily married to Miss Caitlin Isom. Congratulations, you guys. I'm very, very happy. I appreciate I, it. Thank you. My animosity is gone from y'all just having the wedding private. <laughs> it's okay. Because I a, love is love. Our year's coming up. Yeah, and I'm still very, fu- very fucking excited <coughs> and happy for you guys. I'm still planning on having an actual wedding, though. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I want to ask you a couple of questions that you could save maybe a couple of younger couples, okay? Okay. I, I want to know, what's one thing you've learned so far in your almost full year of marriage? Because you were, how long have you guys been together? Five years? Four. Four, okay. You've been together three, married for four, married for one, almost. Yeah. Okay. So what's something that you have learned being with her for four years that you could tell other couples? Not something about necessarily about her, just like, what have you learned as a couple? What have you learned as a man? Not that you have to grow together mm-hmm. or you're not going to grow at all. You're just going to grow apart. It's a two-way street. It is a two-way street. This ain't a one-way road. Mm-hmm. Everybody has to make a decision. You can't just be the only one to make a decision. And everybody has to agree on said decision. Right. Nobody understands that. It, yeah, I understand. And that's why a lot of people mess up. Yeah. I. What's something you would do over? Do over? Like, what did you mean do over? Like, what part? In this relationship. There's something that you wish you could fix early. Maybe to stop a fight. Something like that. Is that too personal? Is that going to get you in the doghouse if she watches this? No, no, no. Because I don't, I don't want to. It's nothing like that. I never want I never want to be disrespectful or hurt anyone's feelings or anything like that. Or make it seem like we're talking about them or down on them. There's something that you think and as you as a person could have changed for yourself in the relationship. I feel like I could have done better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Essentially, something like that. Yeah. yeah, I feel like I could have been more open. I'm very, I'm a very closed person. Like, yeah, you are not a very emotional person. That's the one thing. That's my biggest issue right now in my relationship. Is I don't communicate at all. I'm, I keep to myself. Yes. And I have a big problem with that. And no matter how much I try to seek out help for it, it's just not. It's just not there. Uh huh. And like. Uh, it's hard. It's growth, man. It's growth. You you admitting that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, hell yeah. Okay. I respect that. I, you and I went to separate schools. Okay. But I still went to the same school you went to. Mm-hmm. And, and I. Go ahead. Let them know how. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to Hackett. I understand. <coughs> um, I moved. I went to the rival. I didn't get fucked. Nah, we, they too broke. Who? <laughs> we bought them. They are us. <coughs> they were. <laughs> 
They're us. Not me. Not no more. <laughs> Duke said, nah, fuck that. I graduated somewhere else, man. Yeah, I ain't part of that we were, fucking we shit. We were legally the last year at Hartford High School, Hartford High School before they consolidated. Nah, dude, fuck that. Legally. Yeah. And we still kick the shit out of them, baseball and, and basketball. Well, you understand football, whoa, y'all kick the fuck whoa, out of us. Whoa, 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 whoa. You did not. When I went there, you could, maybe your senior year, but when I, no, not your senior year. It had to yeah. be your junior year. No, you my, didn't, you didn't beat us our senior year because I was a junior. We did not lose to Hartford in baseball. We didn't lose to you in baseball. Basketball, we did. We lost my junior year to y'all in basketball, but I didn't play for the basketball team. I will team. be perfectly honest with you. We won our my junior and senior year, and here's how and here's why I know. Okay? Because I was the catcher, and we I literally caught a pot fly in the air, threw it to fir- or threw it to third base, double play, we won the game. I know for a fact, because I... I think that was your, senior, your junior year. No, we oh, we beat the fuck out of y'all my junior yeah, year. Yeah, I wasn't there. No, no, we barely beat y'all my senior <laughs> year. I know because I refuse to lose in baseball to hack it. I refuse to lose to hack it in sports that I am. I know for a fact my team... Who's on the team? Uh, Me, Matt... No, 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 no. Who's on our team? You don't know the people? That's the only way I'm going to know. Because, like... I, your junior year. A little bit. My junior year? Yeah. So, like, Jake Walker and them. I don't know who Jake... Uh, yeah, it would have been Jake. Wyatt Ledbetter, maybe? And Wyatt... Wait, Wyatt didn't play on the baseball team. But, yeah, Buddy was already gone. Hunter was already gone. Yes, Hunter was... That, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Y'all didn't have the super talent. Y'all didn't have Hunter throwing 90s at people. Man, that was nice. That was beautiful. Man, he hit me with the curveball that literally put me to my fucking Dude. knees, bro. I, I everybody I mean, they laughed at me. I said, "I don't care." I said that ball was coming at my face and that's the best curveball I've ever seen, man. Caught me in the back one time. He didn't do it again. I, I He hit never, Jacob Sanger in the hand on a bat, on a swing, bro. On a thumb. And fucking snapped that bitch back. Mm. Jake bro, put it he, forward, wrapped it. We're in the so it's freezing cold. We I remember that, cold. bro. And we're on the bus, right? And it's warming up. We're, we're about halfway to Hartford. We're almost there to Hartford. He was here, ah, 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 ah. dude. It warmed up. His adrenaline finally uh, kicked out, and it, it was just pain set it in. It was it was he was done for. Uh, but I I know we beat you guys because I dapped. I, I was dapping you know people what? up because y'all you beat. Know what? That shit's gonna be on sports. I find the score right it. now, bro. I, it's uh, gonna be on Pepsi Max, bro. I find it. Yeah, um, cause <laughs> right we, is it is it Pepsi? What's it called? Max Preps. Max Preps. Mom, is it Pepsi Max? <laughs> <laughs> it's a soda, my man. <laughs> uh, <coughs> uh, y'all can clown me. That's okay. Yeah, it'd be all right. <coughs> so, yeah, cause we y'all kicked <coughs> the fuck out of us in football, obviously. Um, goddamn fucking. Classic, man. Look, we're going to get to the bottom of this right now. Motherfucker, well, we're in the middle of a goddamn podcast right now. Put your phone down. We're going to get to the bottom of this uh, right now. Hand me that one. Let me see. Let me, let me try that. Doug, you got a lot to cut out, my friend. You know what? We'll figure out about it later. I'm telling you, man. I know I'm in mi corazón. I, I promise, bro. Look, we're going to come back to it, bro. We're going to... And I'm gonna put, I'll find it after the podcast. And I'm going to put the crop right here. <laughs> Look. Grant sent it to me. There we go. Okay. <coughs> um, okay, so you and I went to separate schools, but I also went to the same school that you did a little previous to you. I want to know some questions that Ray wouldn't answer. Okay. Um, For school? Yeah. Okay. Okay, some school-related questions. All right. You can choose to answer, choose not. It is what it is. Who is the one teacher, if you had the chance... To fight. To fight? Yeah. Probably. Damn, that's a good one. Who really pissed me off? Back in the day, but not no more because I have mad respect for him. Of course. Say it. (laughs) I don't know, man. Is it Woodhull? Huh? No, it'd probably be Hester. Oh, (laughs) yeah. Me and Hester (laughs) gonna go a couple rounds, goddammit. Oh, yeah. Respect. Shake his hand after his Yeah, oh, uh, no, he's a great guy. Yeah. Uh, I love him. Yeah. Especially what he's doing now. I, oh, yeah. yeah. And he's, uh, like, he's, um, he's a principal, and he's doing great for himself. Yeah, he's wow, the dude. principal, the high school principal. That's amazing. Or, or the, because, um, no, he's the vice principal. He's about to be the principal because um, what's his name? Mr. Seth. Freeman is going to be the superintendent now. Oh, good. Everyone's getting promotions. That's fucking Everybody. sick. Yeah, because um, 
Yeah. Who were who when I first went to Hackett, the football coach, who okay. was the football coach yeah, before yeah, yeah. Hester, mm-hmm. was the superintendent. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah, yeah. He took the superintendent job to quit coaching. Mm-hmm. Branham. No, I don't think that was it. Richardson? No. Woodhull? What's it? Sick? Was it Coach Six? Nope. I saw it, Coach Six the other day. It, yeah, I, I seen uh, I seen Mr. Clark. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. Literally not even last week, bro. How the fuck I, is he I, doing? I, I talked to him and everything. I said, hey, Mr. Clark. And I had Michael with me. He said, oh, what are you doing? And I was like, oh, I forgot. You're not teaching now, are you? He's like, no, I'm good and retired. He's still out uh, in his band, out doing all the little festivals and stuff. Yeah. I see him out there playing his saxophone. I respect that. Um, who is one teacher you would bang? I probably wouldn't. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, I respect that. Some people answer, some people don't. Uh, is there is there anything more awkward than being just like rock hard in school? No. Is that like not the worst? The most awkward thing. You should be sitting there fucking doing a math problem. And you're like, oh. Yo, what? hey. Yo, whoa. I don't like, you. I don't hey. like the vision like man, that. Man, why, why the bell about to ring and shit, man? Yeah, yeah, like, oh, dude. Man, I got to work to my is next class. Is that not the worst? Dude. There's there's only one thing worse. Man, than that. my shirt a little small today. Yeah, dude. Fuck. I gotta go to the gym at, right after this, dude. I'm wearing. Yeah, dude, it's a problem. About to go lift weights. And you're like, Fuck me, dude. Um, is there anything worse? That one couldn't have been more real. Oh yeah, dude. 100. percent You felt that. You got You felt that in your, in your soul, dude. Is there anything worse? Okay. And if you do, please tell the story. Is there anything worse than being pants? <laughs> like someone no. catching you slipping, bro. Just <coughs> underwear and, sh- and pants, both underwear no. and shorts. <coughs> Definitely happened a lot in the locker room. Oh, dude! <laughs> if you were uh, if you were caught slacking, bro, <coughs> you were caught fucking slacking. A hundred percent. You made sure toes. you fucking changed your back to the locker, bro. You know, if you it was, didn't, it was very. You it was went, violent in there for no reason. You also went to the same kind of school where I went to in certain aspects of. It was very. Small town enough where it was a lot of hidden homophobia, a, ho- a lot of ho- like gay acts going on throughout. That's a little, that's a little gay, bro. Yeah, like you, you and no th- homo. What you, do you mean no homo? You, bro? you and three of your boys just held me down to get, take my pants off, bro, yeah. and my underwear to see my dick. What are you talking about, bro? Like, what are you? What you fuck? What? Uh, it's, it's, it was a little awkward. And a there little... was definitely a couple people that uh-huh. I recall getting uh, uh-huh. getting their shit yanked down. Uh-huh. Huh. And that's fucking horrible, bro. I remember being like a seventh grader, being pants with like a senior in hockey, bro, in front of the senior high girls basketball team. And I'll, oh, dude, I'm sorry, bro. Dude, oh, oh uh-huh. don't you. No, it's all right. It's all right. I fucked, I fucked his wife. So, and I did it strictly because of that. No pure attraction. He knows who he is. Just like one, you know what I mean? It's just one of those things where it's like it's the long game. <laughs> it's the long game. And so she said, "Uh, man, there's nothing worse in the fucking world than being pants at a bar, at a fucking party, at a fucking school gym. Does not matter if you're pants, bro. You gotta man. just go, try to go home, go to bed, wake up, try to do it again. How many parties you been to? You had to run from the police. Oh fuck me, dude." A lot more parties yeah. than I didn't have to leave. Did, did you uh, remember that one dude, Bubba Greenbush? You ever hear about Bubba Greenbush? Mm-mm. He went to a uh, fuck. What school did he go to? Oh, it was one of those small schools that we played. That was ass every time. Yeah. When we went down there, we literally just beat the shit out mm-hmm. of him every time. But um. He had, he lived in this cab. He had a cabin, bro. We went out to this cabin out like past Boonville. Okay. Man, I had it on the tip of my tongue too. <coughs> something it has something like town in it. I don't know. It's weird. Like I don't know. Well, I figured it out before this conversation's over. But I swear. man, he, they had all the youthless people showing up, bro. They had people from the college, the University of Arkansas, Arkansas Tech. I'm in high school. I'm having the best time of my life. And he's still, he's in high school. He's in the same grade I'm in fucking throwing this party, bro. And I pull up to the spot where we're supposed to meet at. And there's probably like, I don't know, probably 20 cars just here waiting at Walmart, waiting for this dude to fucking just, 
um, wait for a uh, fight to meet. Yeah. And then uh, he just drove up. He said, that, that was it. No, I and then uh, that. after that, we all followed in one straight line. And then I was wondering where we were going. And then we pulled up to a whole nother meetup where there was like a whole nother group of like 20 cars. And he looked at them and he was like, <laughs> and we're all just fucking tailing like 40 cars deep into this fucking huge field, like full of, and there's already probably a fucking hundred people already here, bro. Like there was so many people. I, I get out. And I start walking up to the house, bro. And I see this girl I know start beating the fucking shit out of this other girl. I was like, hell yeah. Whoop her ass. Beat her ass. And they were just fucking going at it. And she started beating, like, the shit out of her. So, like, they pulled her off. Mm -hmm. Then I made it up to the cabin. And then there was another fight breakout in the house. And I'm, I'm right behind it. And I'm like, yo, get the fuck off of me or we're going to be fighting. Like, pushing up against me. And then get, and then you know, you're going to know the last person. Go outside after that fight breaks up. Mm -hmm. It's fucking Tyler. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about? Yeah, I know exactly who the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> Tyler's out there. Tyler kind of got, it was like a, it was more like a, probably like a, a, a 40, 60. Yeah. He was on the 40 side. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like He almost won. He almost won. He almost had it. But like. He lost by decision. Yeah. Yeah, not by points. He lost by decision. I like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I understand. We were, uh... It was a good fight, though. Yeah. You know? There was, like, five... There was five fights, and then, like... Did police have to break it up or anything? Police have to show up? Nah, someone said... Someone ended up saying, like, cops! Because I guess they didn't... They were tired of the fighting and shit, and they, they were just being fucking Karens. No, there was zero cops. But... Um, yeah, I don't even remember how I jumped in somebody's fucking Trevin was there with me. Oh, that boy, that was lit. Deep cut. Yeah. Fucking A. Let me ask you some fan questions real quick. All right. I got a story for you next. Okay, go ahead and tell it. We'll keep this part so, of the, the house parties episode or house party segment. So like it was the first time I had DMT. Okay. <sighs> it was amazing. Best shit ever. Fuck acid. <laughs> like, I was excited. I even heard somebody who even had it. I was just, I went to this party in Ozark and we pulled up. I can't remember who was with me. I think Trevin was there with me again. <laughs> the Tre me and Trevin always went to fucking parties, yep. bro. Like, it was just me, me and Trevin did a bunch of shit together. And we pulled up. We were playing beer pong and I went outside. I heard somebody had DMT and they just tried it. And I was like, what the fuck? That's something I'm definitely trying to experience. Well, I've always wanted to experience. So I walked over to him. I said, uh, and I asked if uh, I could smoke. And they said, yeah. And they said, yo, we have this DMT too. If you want to hit it. So they put it up in the weed. And they said, that's how you do it. Don't do it no other way. And I hit it. And I just blasted off, bro. And I, like, I jumped into it. Like, I didn't go deep into it because i like i've heard a bunch of stories and like i've heard where i've been to and like i was only like into like 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 in the third dimension everything was a grid so like okay. everything was green what okay i was gonna say what and it looked like graph paper yeah like my feet i looked down up it literally looked like an actual like matrix bro like yeah. there's nothing you could explain it was green and red mm -hmm. and there was a full wheeler there, and I was tripping so hard, and I, I was like, and some dude was just right, letting people, uh, he was just driving him around, so I fucking jumped on the back with him, fucking tripping balls, bro, the best five minutes of my fucking life, it was crazy, just fucking experiencing that shit, looking around, while on it, I recommend doing it with weed, though, like, yeah, the second time I did it, because I found some, and I bought some, and I was so excited to do it. Mm -hmm. And like, I had a vape. I was vaping hard, you know, back then. So I had a coil, and you had to heat it up fast. Mm -hmm. That's the only way to do it is to heat it up fast. <laughs> so I took all the cotton out of my vape, and I I put this rock. It was kind of it was a pretty big rock, <laughs> and I put it on top of the vape coil, and I heated it up, and I inhaled, and man, I that was the worst experience of my life. I like the person who was behind me. They were like. 
on my shoulder and I looked up at them and they like grew horns and shit out of their head and like it turned into like the devil face. And then like I looked out and this was like, the house was deep and there was a big pond in the front and it was, there was, there was a whole line of trees on the pond side mm-hmm. on, on, and like all the trees just started swirling. And like they all, t- like all the branches broke off and turned into bats. And like I was freaking out so bad, I tried to get out of it. So I closed my eyes. And then everything, as the second I closed my eyes, everything just went white. And there was, I couldn't get out. Like I was, it was so like as white as your walls. It was so bright, and everything started coming at me. And then everywhere I turned, bro. And then like as soon as I hit it, like it was like you know how like uh, in like CSI files they. The file swipe across the screen super super yeah, fast, yeah, yeah. bro. I could see that with my vision, like it, like the new fucking Apple Vision Pro goggles, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. I could see that going across my eyes, bro. Like all kind of different. almost like a scene selection in a DVD. Yeah, bro, and it was going so fast, and I was seeing all kinds of stuff and like all kinds of numbers. And like when I closed my eyes, I was seeing <coughs> all kinds of like <clears throat> different kinds of shapes and images, and like with the the red and green and like. Bro, it it was absolutely nuts. It turned in, it went from great to terrible in a second. Oh, fuck, dude. Bro, it, it's such a crazy experience. Honestly, if I like if I ever got like the mindset to do it again with weed just so I could even see the grid, I would. Yeah. Okay, buddy. We're going to wrap up this podcast with a couple of fan questions. First of all, thank you so much for coming by here, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a fucking pleasure. I love you to death, man. Um, first of all, I want to know some fan questions. Try to answer, try to answer it as truthful as possible, um, to the best of your ability. Okay. Okay. Are you ready? Who is the sexiest cartoon? Damn. Hmm. I don't know. Come on, man. You gotta give me some. <laughs> I don't have one. What's the cartoon that you that you liked as a kid? Who was the hot cartoon? I can't even remember what the fuck I was watching back then now. <laughs> see, that's why we don't hand him the one the, that last time. <laughs> he would have remembered a second ago. Uh, who are the worst sports fans? Uh, oh, probably Boston. You motherfucker. <laughs> you cocksucker. Just Celtics fans or just Boston fans in general? Boston fans in general. I can respect that then. We are pieces of shit. I understand that. I would go say, Yanks. I would say Dal. I would say Cowboys fans or Phillies fans. Are yeah, the worst. The, yeah, yeah. Because Cowboys every <laughs> this is our fucking year, bro. Um, yeah, maybe next year. Yeah, I'm not even a, a pat. I'm not a single Boston and, fan um, besides the Celtics. Now that uh, Jason Kelsey is retired, the Phillies. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh went, yeah. The Eagles will yeah. be trash. They um, went there. They needed that. Yeah, no shit. Uh, yeah. So you're gonna say Boston, the Boston in its entirety. I'm gonna say Dallas. Um, say Cowboys fans. Uh, if you could listen to one album on repeat forever, what would it be? Damn. Or a song. What song could you always listen to and it never go bad? I'm gonna look the name of it real quick. Okay, go right ahead. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know my new album, Where's My Sitcom, is officially out on all streaming platforms. Please go ahead and check it out. It'll be in the description below. Also, my new song with Kosa, Polaroid, is officially out on all streaming platforms as well. Be sure to check that out. Um, It is an absolute pleasure to be working with all these great artists on every project and every single. I cannot wait to show you the rest of the the year. It's going to be amazing. So, one song you can listen to on repeat forever. Emo Rockstar by Youngboy. Wow. Oh, you are a big NBA Youngboy fan. I forgot you you for like a long time you've been a young boy fan like yeah. pre COVID yeah which is fucking crazy way before that God I fucking hate NBA young boy like, <laughs> can't stand him if so you're playing Mario Kart right you about to get on about to play with the guys you about to whoop somebody's ass what mm. character are you going with mm. are you a Mario guy are you Luigi mm. Waluigi Donkey Kong Peach or Silver Mario um, Bowser, you seem like a Diddy Kong type of guy. Maybe just a Mario. Yeah? Yeah, basic. I understand it happens. Who's the best Power Ranger? What color? Damn. That way you don't got to give me a name. I just That's... need to know what's the best color. Okay, let's What's see. What's your favorite There's, color Power Ranger? See. 
let me let me try to remember the five there's pink there's white there's blue yellow blue white yellow pink purple red red and black and black there's six uh probably the white yeah white rage <laughs> yeah r.i.p R. tommy oliver rest in peace my friend dude jason david frank was a goat Oh, yeah. un he went to the UFC and was undefeated. Did you know that? No. The guy that played the, so the White Ranger and the Green Ranger, essentially, he went to the UFC, and he was like 13-0. and 0. Like, he just beat the fuck out of everyone in submissions. Like, he didn't knock anyone out. He only beat him in submissions. Insane. I mean, you, you lost to a fucking Power Ranger, dude. You know what I mean? That's like, that's real shit. Uh, Put that on your resume. Yeah, no kidding. Okay, who's the GOAT, Nas or Jay-Z? Mm. Those are the only two options that I'm giving people right now for this season. Jay-Z. Okay, I respect that. Um, what is the best Disney show? Disney show? Actually, coming from someone who used to audition for Disney shows and was almost on one, in your opinion, what is the best Disney show from back then? Oh, from back then? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, damn. Probably like Sweet Life of Zack and Cody. That's my dog. Do you remember what show you were supposed to be on? No. No? I never. They, I was, they offered... Like, they, I don't even, bro, I was so young. Yeah. I was, they I was, offered I was you a, a baby. They offered it was you like, a, a uh, role on it. It was like a good luck, Charlie, you see the little baby? That, yeah. that, that, that would have been me. Something okay. like that. You would have been like, like a know. full house of twins. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah I, I respect yeah, that. Yeah, I something like that. Yeah. Oh. They just, my parents didn't want to, like, split up to travel to do it. Right. So they said no. Okay. If you could have one song to smoke to, what would it be? Mm. Probably a uh, roll up, smoke up. By Wiz Khalifa. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah. I like that. I respect that. What is the best superhero movie? Damn. Because you've seen a lot. You do enjoy a good superhero movie. Dang, bro. I'm a big Spider Man guy. What's the best Spider Man? So far. I don't know. I like, I like the last one. You like Tom? Yeah, I love okay. Tom. Tom. I respect Tom. Tom's that. it, bro. Yeah. Okay. That's perfectly fine. It's a good uh, answer. I feel like Tom plays it the best. It the best. Okay. What's the best superhero movie? Is it a Spider-Man movie? Your opinion is not wrong. God. There's so many good ones. I swear. It's <laughs> really hard. Like, what's your favorite? I don't know. Really, this last one kind of got, like, got me mind blown, bro. Um, what With is it? Cat Ma Miss, like, what is it? Marvel, Miss. What, oh, the Marvels. What, Captain Marvel. What was the last one that just came out in theaters? The Marvels. Marvels. Yeah, yeah that one Marvel. was pretty good. Yeah, you liked yeah, it. I liked it. It was all right. I enjoyed. It. I liked the, like the, the the ending. Literally. <laughs> yeah, dude, nuts. It's gonna get better and better. Uh, Deadpool uh, is gonna be great. Oh, Deadpool three. It, seen it on Super Mode commercial. Yeah, dude, that's good. That trailer is gonna be so great. I'm excited. It's gonna be Deadpool so fucking 3, great. The commercials, we're lame. So. Y'all could have done way fucking better. All right, what the fuck were y'all thinking? Yeah. All right, I did not need to see the, that many fucking State Farm commercials, TurboTax commercials. Where were the Pringle commercials? Where were the Cheeto commercials? My is the Where were Dorito commercials? My bro? favorite is that everyone's been pronouncing Tamu wrong for the longest time. I laughed so fucking hard when they were like, it's Tamu. And I'm like, not Timu? <laughs> everyone's been pronouncing it Timu for like eight months. Where's the eight? <laughs> <laughs> no shit. Oh goodness, dude. Man, that's crazy. No, yeah, I'm big sad that the Chiefs won. Oh yeah, that's yeah. rough. Pat Patrick Mahomes a bully. Yeah, he is, dude. Whatever, man. Yeah. I'm ready for Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey to break up. Yeah. And Britney Snow to finally ready for another cheating. bomb ass Taylor Swift album. I'm ready for a bomb ass Taylor Swift album. I'm ready for Mahomes to get six more rings because Britney Snow is going to cheat on him. Is that her name? Brittany Mahomes or Brittany Snow or something like that? I don't know. Oh, whatever that bitch is, yeah. Also, their his brother is fucking crazy. Like that whole family nuts, bro. Just let leave Patrick Mahomes alone. Let him just win some Super Bowls. Fuck it. Let him get a couple dubs. What, he, he got two or three. I think three. I think. Oh, was that two or four. three? Because I only seen him wearing two rings in the, in the video. I genuinely could not tell you. I want to say he has three. Fuck, he signed a ten million or a ten year deal. He deal. He better get more than three. Hmm. More the fucker. Uh. I 
All right, here we go. Here we go. Three. Patrick Mahomes has three rings as of now. 2023 20, and 2024. Back to back champs. Damn. That's so right. if I'm not wrong, 2020 is when they beat the 49ers in the Super Bowl. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, that Fuck. hurts. Damn. Well, my friend, I have one more question for you before we end this podcast. Who is the NBA GOAT in your eyes? Oh, Kevin Durant, bro. (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, this has been Doug Talks. I am a huge fan of this man. Thank you for being my best friend and sticking through me for over a decade. You are an absolute legend, a great husband, a great father, and a great friend, my dog. Um, Truly, it is a testament to who you are. Congratulations to all your success. I love you to death, buddy. Thank you for being on the podcast. Thank you for having me. Dude, ladies and gentlemen, please drink plenty of water. Have a great night. Be safe. Bye, guys. Grant Jemima out.